Capital flow. Capital flow is interesting. No longer, this is important, no longer will tax and consumption be the way that cities will fuel their growth. It'll be around public-private partnerships, new ways to think about joint ventures. So can you guys get a tight shot in on this guy? Does anybody know who this is? Bloomberg, right? So those of you in the back, you might not be able to see as well. Bloomberg's famous for a lot of things. Uh, 32 ounce uh, soft drinks, uh, what he's done with uh, New York, companies he's built. You know what he's most proud of right now? One quote, I hope my check to the undertaker bounces. How much is this guy worth? $30 billion. What's the headline in the Time magazine? He's gonna take on the world. Anybody know Bloomberg? Anybody have a cause? Make a call. The guy's got a big checkbook. Gates Foundation, Clinton Foundation, World Bank. There's a tremendous amount of money that is available to go into developed countries and do some very interesting things. It will not be through tax and consumption. It will not be through tax and consumption. Do you understand how the capital flows? So my contention to you and the argument is this, we have to build these agile economies and you can use technology to help you. Let me make this point by taking two ends of the spectrum. On a business model, have we seen regions, cities, companies that have a very good business model but cannot get the talent? They can't bring in the talent. They can't find the talent. They can't keep the talent. Of course. And then on the other side, you can find where you have talent, but you've created a business environment that your tax model precludes you from being able to have businesses come find you. Do we have regions in the world that are like that? Where the taxes are just so high, where the regulation is so difficult, the, no, minus the talent. You can get the talent. You might even have great universities. You might have unbelievable IP at your fingertips. You have to have the right balance. And technology can help you with that. And with that, you create a fragile, go from a fragile economy to an agile economy. Can you do that? Can you have that agility that allows you to balance that as we go forward? Against this backdrop of people in movement, societies that are gonna be different, populations that will move to 200 cities.